Hello and welcome to A Cup of Joe. Uh, I know it's been a while since I have done A Cup of Joe. Uh, and this may actually be the last publicly available Cup of Joe for um, at least at least a bit. Uh, I'm going to be trying some new things, but I'll get to that in a moment. Part of it, I guess, is, is uh, related to why there hasn't been A Cup of Joe in some time. Sometimes I just don't know uh, what to talk about. What I do here is like sometimes super boring and repetitive. It's a lot of writing, it's a lot of research. Uh, yes, I do get to drink a lot of coffee. And I'll share with you what this one is shortly. But uh, making something entertaining can be uh, a real challenge, especially when um, I'm mostly working out of my home. <laughs> It's part of the reason why uh, Instagram, the Instagram for Copy Lovers magazine, has kind of um, been a little stagnant. I've been trying some things here and there, um, but I can't just fill it with pictures of coffee that I take because most of the coffee that I enjoy is coffee I brew at home on a Kalita Wave, and I can't do 5,000 pictures of coffee brewing on a Kalita Wave. Anyways, I'm a little sidetracked. So Coffee Lovers magazine has uh, been an absolutely wonderful, wonderful challenge. And it's continuing to grow and the business is continuing to grow and evolve. Part of that, a big part of that is this uh, shift towards, not really a shift or more of an addition to selling coffee. And I've been trying to figure out how to do that for a long time in a way that is authentic to the business and the goals of the business. And I realized a couple months ago the best way to do that. And that's how the Coffee Lovers Box was born. Um, so the reason there hasn't been uh, a cup of joe or too many videos showing up on on copy lovers tv at all in the last couple of months is just because i've been completely buried in figuring out this entire new product line um, and that's kind of i guess what business is like i don't know i basically do everything my good friend michael does the design for the issues uh, but he's limited to those tasks at the moment and that's uh you know design for the issues once a month but most of my time will be uh, ending up trying to figure out how to uh, grow the business, get the business into a growing state. So the Coffee Lovers Box is all about discovering really good coffee. And it goes very well in line with Coffee Lovers Magazine and what I talk about on Coffee Lovers TV. And so, yeah, I just wanted to be able to put really good coffee into your hands. And that's why that's, why that's happening. I'm not going to talk too much on the Coffee Lovers Box. One of the things adding to the challenge of getting all these things done, Coffee Lovers is my job. That's what I do. I do the magazine, uh, figure out how to grow the business. Um, I try things like this, like uh, the Cup of Joe, which I, when I started off, I was like, I'll do a weekly thing and I'll talk about coffee and talk about what I'm doing. And that was a good way to get going with making the, the videos. Um, and now I think the, for Coffee Lovers TV, the best uh, use of those videos for everyone's interest who comes to the Coffee Lovers TV, because it's all free, it's open to everyone, it's on YouTube, is showing, just showing you uh, things in coffee, like exploring different coffees, doing like product reviews, helpful product reviews, um, getting more into the brewing tips, all that sort of thing. This behind the scenes stuff may be interesting to some of you. If you're enjoying this, thank you so much, I really appreciate it. But I also don't want to, I think it's, it's maybe a little misplaced having uh, this kind of straight up thing on YouTube since the business isn't just a YouTube channel. Like if, if that's what it was, if I was doing like a, if I was doing like a full on uh, video blog style thing on YouTube and that's what I was doing and that was the business, then I think this would be perfectly well placed. So where uh, Cup of Joe is moving to is the new project. I'm just gonna try this out. I'm setting up a Patreon and that's gonna be to support the growth of Coffee Lovers, um, the brand which is primarily myself right now. And I thought about doing this like some time ago. I thought about doing this like a year or two ago. And I don't like just asking for money, but that's also why I didn't, it took me so long to come to the conclusion of the Coffee Lovers Box. The co for the Coffee Lovers Box, I didn't just want to make another coffee box. It needed to be something that made sense in this, the, the grand scheme of things of what I'm doing. It needed to make sense in the picture of Coffee Lovers Magazine. And so does the Patreon. So on 
on the Patreon. There are only a few like levels right now, uh, but there's some fun, interesting things that I came up with. First off, the first level is like a dollar a month, and then you'll get access to, I'm going to do the Cup of Joe. And I think uh, as a goal, I'm going to start off with just one a month, just to make sure that I can get it in there and that it's loaded with interesting things instead of trying to ramble every week about something. If it, you know, if it goes well, if people are interested, it starts flowing, then I'm sure I'll ramp it up. But just, just so that there's no uh, lost expectations, I'm just going to start with doing a cup of joe a month. And it's going to be a real full on uh, behind the scenes. I'm going to show you uh, some of the things I'm thinking about, some of the stuff I'm working on. I mean, I've done, I've done a pretty good behind the scenes with the cup of joe, um, but uh, I could show you a bit more. Um, so that's, that's like the first tier. There's, a, there's another um, small second tier that's uh, like a discount for the for the store, for the shop.coffeeloversmag.com store. But the fun stuff starts uh, at the bit of the higher tiers. There's one where you can be listed in the credits of the magazine uh, as a thank you for supporting the magazine. That would be on the contributors page. So in the magazine, there's the cover, there's the how to use the magazine, there's the from the publisher, which is now a video. Uh, so I'm doing those as videos now. And then there's a contributors page, which lists, shows people who are currently contributing, has Michael as the designer. You know, when I get, um, when I have someone who starts uh, running the editing of the magazine instead of me, they'll be listed there. And then we'll have supporters of the magazine listed there as well. That's currently not there, but that's where you will show up. And then also I will thank everyone who is at that level at the end of each video that I do on Coffee Lovers TV. So if you really like what I do and you just want a, another way to support what I'm doing, uh, I mean, of course, you can subscribe to the magazine and uh, that would be really awesome. But if, uh, you know, a magazine is not your thing, uh, it's not everyone's thing and that's cool, um, then these are just some fun extra ways uh, to get in there. So another fun one that I came up with was doing like a hangout. So a weekly hangout where we just sit and talk about coffee and I'll brew a cup of coffee and it'll just kind of be like we're hanging out in a cafe. Um, so I want to give that a try. Uh, I think that'll be um, be a lot of fun. And you can like ask questions and you know, I'll, you have if you have questions about how you're brewing coffee or what coffee to uh, decide on or you know, whatever. It doesn't even have to be coffee subject. I mean, we're sitting in a cafe, we can talk about whatever. A little weekly hangout there. And I'm going to do those weekly because I'm going to have to schedule them based off uh, my availability. And I'm sure that's not going to fit up with everyone, uh, with everyone's availability. So um, all of the Patreon stuff is on a monthly thing. And then uh, the highest level one right now is going to be a uh, special coffee curation. Uh, so you'll sign up to that. And then once a month, I'll pick out a coffee um, and that'll get sent to everyone who's on that level. And then we will uh, we'll do another hangout where I'll... Uh, we can brew it together. I will brew it live um, and talk about it. You know, you can brew along, we can do a brew along, that sort of thing. Um, just really exploring one specific coffee. And that, uh, the coffees for that, completely up to me to decide what they are. And they may be something that I have access to here that I send you, uh, but I may also, you know, take the opportunity to look around to places that um, are not local to me that have really good coffee. One of the things with doing like the Coffee Lovers Box and on the store is I'm offering only coffees that are here local to me because I'm packaging them in the box and sending them to you fresh. If I order a coffee from, like I know really good roasters in New York, for example, that I would love to feature, or Boston, but if I tried to put them in the box, they would have to roast the coffee and then send it to me before I packaged it and then send it to you. And that would probably add like an extra week after roasting before you get the coffee. And I don't think that's acceptable. I think the coffee needs to be as fresh as humanly possible. So for the Coffee Lovers box, I'm doing local stuff, but for this level of Patreon, if I find a copy from another roaster I really like, then what I'll end up doing is just ordering it from them and sending it directly to you. But again, every month is up to me to decide what the coffee is. Uh, there'll be more information on that on the thing. I just kind of wanted to give you a quick share on what's happening there. Uh, mostly, you know, it's just it's a it's a little experiment I want to do. I want to see if that's something that people will be interested in as another way to support uh, what I'm doing and to do some fun extra stuff. Uh, if it does catch on, it'll be a good platform for me to kind of play around and uh, try new things. Uh, so my coffee of today is actually a possibility for the next 
box. Um, I'm still trying a bunch of coffees. I have one picked out, but you're gonna have to wait to see the videos. I'm not gonna spoil what that one is, um, but I'm still looking at the other two. Um, so this is one of the possibilities. Let's see how coffee works. Uh, and this coffee's from Panama. Uh, it's pretty light. I'm a little wary of putting really light coffees in the box, because a lot of the people who are who are getting the Coffee Lovers box and enjoying those coffees, a lot for a lot of people, it's the first time you're really getting really good coffee. And a super light coffee can be uh, really difficult to address if you're not familiar. Um, so one of the things about this coffee, I brewed this um, like half an hour ago and it hasn't, uh, you know, it's been, well, like, you can't really see it in the video, but I brewed into a glass carafe. I usually only fill the mug to about here. I like to drink my coffee in small amounts uh, and I like it to cool, especially when it's a light coffee like this. So I brewed this a half an hour ago and I've, <laughs> I've enjoyed most of it because it's a really good coffee, but it's, you know, it's cooled off and it tastes so much better. Not that it tastes bad, it's just there are a lot of flavors in lighter roasted coffee that really come out once the coffee is cooled but you need to be familiar with that in order to understand. So the challenge in sharing like a really light, delicate coffee is that most people are gonna drink the coffee hot. If you drink a light, delicate coffee like this hot, it'll taste a lot more like uh, black tea than it will coffee um, because a lot of the rich sweetness uh, just gets overwhelmed by the heat. I don't know the actual chemical uh, explanation for that, but that's basically what's going on. So. When I had this, and I did try this hot because I brewed it, I wanted to <laughs> drink it right away. And it did come off like, as like kind of a delicate tea. But as I'm drinking it now, it's cooled. There's like a lot of this, I mean, it's still light, but it's a lot more juicy. It's a lot richer. There's more sweetness to it. Uh, I can taste a lot more of the chocolate and um, the cherry. Their description is uh, citrus, chocolate, and berry. And, and when it's cooled like this, that, that really all comes out. But when it's hot, it's missing a lot of it. So long story short, it's um, it's a little bit of a gamble putting something super light or just a delicate light roasted coffee into a box like that because I think typical coffee brewing and drinking habits need to be adjusted a bit to really get into and enjoy this kind of coffee. It's also just vastly different from what most people are used to. So one of the challenges I'm going to have to figure out with the Coffee Lovers box is going from um, sort of an intro level where it's really good coffee, it's accessible, you know, you'll enjoy it pretty much any way that you make it, um, to something a little bit higher level where I can showcase really light coffees. But also uh, in the intro box, I do wanna have a good range to show you what is possible. So we'll see how that unfolds. Anyways, this is a possibility for the next box. Also in the box, um, one of the reasons why this is still on the table is because I'm looking at including coffees are really good hot, but also really good cold. Uh, so one of them, um, okay, I'll spoil it a little bit. The one I've already chosen is a bit of a darker roast. I, I've said before I'm not typically a fan of dark roasts, but uh, some are done very well. And this is a really, uh, this is a dark roast that's done very well. And it's going to, it's going to be really good hot, but it's also going to be really, really good as a cold brew. And since it's summer, I wanted to have something that would go well each way uh, for people who wanted to try that out. And some of the other coffees, that are in there are also gonna be good for hot and cold brew. And then some of them will be, or maybe maybe one will be really good as an iced pour over. This coffee I think would be absolutely stunning as an iced pour over. And I'm gonna try that out soon, which makes me realize I should do a video, a quick uh, brew tips video on doing iced pour over. That'd be really simple to do. Uh, I'm gonna stop this here. So like I said, this is gonna be the last publicly available cup of joe. Uh, I've got some family vacation stuff coming up that I'm working around that's uh, also crimping the schedule a little bit. But from then on out to figure out the Patreon stuff, see if that's something that people are going to be interested in, I'm going to only have the cup of joe as a private Patreon thing. And that's to get access to that, it's just a dollar a month. So if you like what I'm doing, I will link the Patreon in the video below here. And you can go over there and check it out and see if that's uh, interesting to you. Uh, see if you enjoy that. Um, and if you do and you want to you wanna join on the Patreon, uh, that would be super awesome. I really appreciate it. And, uh, and uh, we'll take it from there. One thing I do plan on doing with people who are, access, uh, who are on the Patreon is, is really talking to each and every one of you about what you like about what's going on here, the things that, that you like in coffee and what can help you and really digging in and, 
and, and getting much more, much more helpful than, than just uh, a YouTube channel or just a magazine can do. So like I said, just another way to, to get in and do some awesome things with coffee. So uh, thank you so much for listening. There are, uh, this is absolutely not the end of Coffee Lovers TV. There's so many more videos coming out on Coffee Lovers TV. I'm just shifting where Cup of Joe is going to be. And that for at least the time being, for the next few months as we test this out, is going to be at Patreon. So uh, link below the video, check it out. And um, this is the first video you're coming to uh, check out all the other videos on Coffee Lovers TV. I do a lot of stuff with coffee. And uh, Coffee Lovers Magazine you can find at coffeeloversmag.com. Um, thank you so much for watching, and hope you have a great week. <laughs>